Five, four, three, two, one. Hey, what is up, guys? It's Excuse Me, I'm Jack, and welcome back to our Jurassic Park tutorial series. So, last episode we made our Brachiosaurus enclosure, as long as well as our uh, Parasaurolophus enclosure. So that turned out really good. There is one thing that I noticed, but I'm gonna point it out in a little bit. Um. But in the first episode, we made our visitor center area, which turned out amazing. Look at this. Look at this. Amazing. Um, you know, our Velociraptor paddock, our bunker, and the beginning of our tour. Uh, we also made the gate layout. Well, we didn't make it. I give you guys the download for that. So if you guys are starting if you guys are barely watching this episode uh i suggest that you watch the first episode get the download from there and just start from there uh we also did this little movement path right here for the vehicles um kind of cool but in this episode we are actually just gonna begin the layout for the tour so it's not gonna be that much for today um, but we are going to be discussing how we're gonna make the tour Okay, so first things first. Let's actually just remove that Okay, because we don't want any of these gates within the park at the moment because we're going to be using our tour gates Okay um, Okay, so if we look at the map, we're gonna to try to follow the map as close as possible It's gonna be kind of impossible to completely follow the map so um what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be kind of improvising in this section over here uh, due to the fact that I can't really make it go out and in from the same gate. Um, yeah. Anyways, let's actually get started with that. So for the majority of the area, um, you're using the normal dirt tracks. So we're just going to be using the normal dirt tracks. So as soon as you go into this enclosure, you either go up or down. Um, I'm going to choose to go uh, uh, down because I don't want to have to deal with multiple tracks in the northern part of the map or the northern part of the like fences because the ending is going to be right here as well. Yeah, so just right here. We're just going to have it go out a bit. And then we're going to have it go down. So there is a Dilophosaurus enclosure right here. I do not know if I want to make the enclosure right here or if I want to have it right here. Because if you're looking at the map, uh, there's a lot of enclosures and there's a lot of places where I'm not building enclosures. Um, let me think about this. I'm trying to think scene wise. So, do they enter from the right or the left in the vehicles when it comes to the Dolphosaurus enclosure? I think they enter from the right, I believe, right? Hold up. Let me research this real quick. Okay. So I can actually confirm now that they do enter from, I believe, the right side. So when they come through here, you do have the decoration, the this one. So it does pop out like this. Okay, I'm just that's just gonna be there for reference for a point. Um, because I want to look over here and look at the other enclosure and see if that would work as well. No, it wouldn't. Okay, cool. So the Dilophosaurus enclosure probably has to be right here. Okay, that works. Right. So we want to have enough space for a couple of them. We don't want to take up the entire area. Um, so these are the perimeter fences, I believe, and there's also fences on the inside as well. So um, what we want to do is want to kind of not go that far with these 
fences that are going to be placed right here. Uh, we might also have to extend it a bit right here. I don't know. It, it depends on the comfort for the dinosaurs. If the dinosaurs aren't comfortable, then I'm not going to deal with them, honestly. Um, but yeah. Anyways, the toy vehicle goes through here. So we can either have it go down all the way around and all like that. But instead of doing that, what I'm probably just going to do is... I'm going to follow... I'm going to have one of the tracks highlighted um, in the picture so you guys can see what track I'm following because I can't make multiple tracks again. So um, it's going to go out like this a bit. I don't want it to be seen from this little cliff area. So we're going to do something weird um, that is not in the scene at all. But we are going to try to hide this as much as possible. Um, okay, so there is water here. Uh, we can get rid of it. I knew that this was going to be an issue in the when we were making the river area. Uh, but I am going to do it right there. Okay. And then from here, it goes into this enclosure right here. And fortunately, I have some, somewhat of like a flat surface right here so we're going to have it oh i did not plan that correctly then okay we're just gonna connect that right there then we're gonna make this one corner that is not the right fence that is not the right fence okay it's this fence okay that's a bit and then we're gonna have to close right there okay and then we're gonna take our tour vehicle track and then we're gonna attach it to this fence right here. Okay, and once we get right here, what we're going to do is we're going to have this kind of go on the left side a bit more. And then we're gonna have it go through here. Okay, so this enclosure right here is actually supposed to be the Baryonyx. Um, I don't... I don't think the Baryonyx was in the park at the time. I can't, don't quote me on that. Um, but I will be, I'll let you guys decide what dinosaurs I should add or if I should add, add all the ones that are in the closures that I built or whatever. Cause I know most of the dinosaurs in this park were not even there. It was pretty much just the T-Rex, the Velociraptors, Brachys, tri uh, Triceratops, uh, Prasiolophus and, um, couple more i can't remember the rest okay so this is where the mountain is technically for the 2x enclosure so what we are going to do is since we have enough space for this enclosure we are going to actually kind of take our time with it so we're gonna we're gonna actually go out to like right about here and then Go like that. Okay. And then right here. This is where I try ceratops are. And then we go like this. I'm gonna actually delete this a bit and go more to the right. Because to the right of this is gonna be the Metricanthosaurus, I believe. I believe that's the Metricantosaurus. That is not, it's the Segasaurus. A, wait, no, is it? Hold up, <laughs> hold up. Um. I think it is the Segasaurus. Stegiosaurus, I don't know how to pronounce it, um, but I'm probably gonna, oh, no, 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 it is the Metricantosaurus. Oh god, I'm having issues here. <laughs> okay. So it's gonna go out a bit, and then it's gonna go up, and then this is where it's gonna kind of even out a bit and go straighter, 
Uh, because this is where they see the Triceratops that needs help. Um, okay. So this fence right here is going to be annoying to deal with. So what you can do is you could either get it on track to go straight into it, like down here some more, or you can just redo the fence a bit and make it so it doesn't like latch on in that angle. Um, I'm going to actually move it just down a bit right here. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to mess with the fence a bit. So this is going to change how the park looks a little bit. But um, it's all in good fun. Okay, so this is where it was. No, where was it? it was right here. Okay. Okay, so we could mess with this enclosure a bit, so it becomes to look like that, and then you connect that right there. Okay, so it does kind of mess with how it looked before. But I'd rather have it look like this than how it looked before. So we could actually have it go into a gate that doesn't like kind of force it to go a different direction. Okay. And then right here we have some more dilos. And naturally it the tour would go back over here into this enclosure, but we can't have it have multiple exits. So what we are going to do is we are going to just have it come out through here and connect right here. Like that. Okay, so this is our tour. It's kind of, yeah, it's kind of a, but um, that's going to be our tour for right now. Um, we will change it if we need to in the future. Uh, but for right now, we're just gonna have it like that. I'm just gonna up this to 16. Is it the highest? And yeah, I'm just gonna up that to 16. Yeah, cool. So we're gonna mess with the environment a bit. So we want to add some trees a bit right here because we don't want the track to be seen that much. Um, I know it kind of messes with this whole view that we had before. Um, I mean, we can kind of hide them with some shrubs if we want to do that instead of trees. I mean, the shrubs don't really sh like help, but it kind of does add texture, so it just doesn't look like this a random line. Okay. So uh, we kind of have this enclosure pretty much done. Uh, we can also put some trees right here so it doesn't just look like the river randomly stops. I like to do this a lot. I like to just put trees, like a lot of trees, um, where, where, where rivers stop and stuff. Um, okay. Because it's still like from above, it still looks like it's connected or like, you know, it still looks like it goes over here when in reality it kind of doesn't because of the pathway. I wish they had uh, it able to kind of go in the water, but I, I guess it makes sense. I don't know. Okay. So the next thing we want to do is we want to make our Dilophosaurus and um, not enclosure. Sorry, we're going to work on that when we work on the different separate enclosures. I don't really want to do a lot in one video, but what we are going to do is we're going to set up this little scene right here. So we want to set this up as close as possible without it seeing the gate. So we can do it honestly, like right about here. Boom, that's where we can get our gates going. And that's gonna be episode, the next episode, we're gonna work in the dial office, sorry, enclosure. Again, I said we're gonna go for shorter videos with this series because we're gonna be doing it enclosure by enclosure instead of random things. Cause if I really wanted to, I can complete this whole entire thing in like two episodes. And I really don't wanna do that. I wanna kind of give you guys uh, shorter videos so you can follow along better and so you don't have to actually worry about missing things yeah let's get this yeah. it is a bit far uh, but that's why I did stop the vehicles so we can bring it closer 
that. I feel like that's way better. Okay. Okay. So the one thing I do want to change in this episode is this enclosure right here. That's on the other side of the mail officer's enclosure. So what I want to do is... I actually want to put the dial office voice enclosure. Let's just start creating it. Um, we could have it start right here as well. And then just have it go like that. And then this is our dialo enclosure. I feel like this isn't going to be enough space for them. So in the future, um, again, um, if you guys depend more on accuracy, I suggest having it like that. But if you want it to be a working park, which is something I'm going to be doing, is I'm probably going to extend it out a bit over here in the future. Um, just because of spacing requirements. If they have an issue with it. I don't know if they have an issue with it. So I guess I did what I said I wasn't going to do, but oh well. <laughs> uh, but this enclosure right here, we want to put our gate back. And we can put it right here. Uh, the only thing I want to do is I want to separate both of these enclosures with some trees. Okay. Because I don't want this enclosure to really be seen. Okay. I really don't know how I'm gonna do Galamimus Valley. Um, it doesn't have like a direct pinpoint of where that happened. I know it happened somewhere in this area because they do go through the Tyrannosaurus enclosure, I think. Like, or like this area, and then go like that. Um, so I don't know how we're gonna do that. Uh, I might make the Gallimimus Valley right here. At the same time, there was a huge mountain next to it. So it kind of just doesn't really make sense why I would put it here without making it a huge mountain. I would have to look at the geological data of Jurassic Park if they have something on that I don't really know if they do have something on it um, but if they do I will definitely look into it so I can give you guys that information uh, because that would be cool to look at like the mountain formations and like if there's like a mountain right here like you know because I do know the T-Rex enclosure is a bit raised but I don't know by how much so again I want to kind of look into that this might just be our Gallimimus Valley over here. Yeah. Because I don't want to mess with these enclosures. I know this enclosure right here is not used at all in the movie. Um, and I really want to get rid of it for more space. But I know if I do, people will get frustrated with me. So I'm just going to keep that there. Unless you guys are okay with me removing it. Um, again... I want a working park, but at the same time, accuracy kind of does matter. Uh, so if you guys don't want this to be removed, I won't remove it. Um, but from the final product on my side, like when I do the cinematic and stuff, I might remove it. I really don't know. Um, it just depends. It depends on if everything goes well with the mountains that I had to make. Okay. So this was the only thing that I wanted to do over here. This looks broken. Why does that look broken? this right here do we want to open this gate because this is the same enclosure right here these two are both brachiosaurus and pyrosaurolophus and gallimimus okay other than that that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe uh comment if your guys are okay with me removing this um yeah, I want to hear what you guys have to say about this and comment if I made any mistakes and if you guys want to see changes or whatever. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.